A private school is being accused of calling the FBI on two moms who were just asking questions about CRT. It started when another student was told on the very first day of school their teacher wouldn't even talk to a student if they supported Trump. It made moms like Amy Gonzalez and Andrea Gross worry about what else was going on in the class. They formed a coalition. They did some digging and discovered that lesson plans were laced with CRT. These moms started a campaign to tell everybody what was going on at the Columbus Academy. They even went on Fox to talk about it. So how did the school respond? They allegedly dimed on them to the feds. According to the lawsuit filed by the moms, the headmaster sent a letter to the entire faculty letting them know that they had called the FBI on Gonzalez and Gross, describing them as, quote, violent racists. Now, this is the exact same time that Merrick Garland was targeting parents as terrorists. And to make matters worse, the school expelled the kids at the end of the year. So now the moms are suing. So we reached out to the school and a spokesman disputes what the moms are saying, saying that the Columbus Academy did not call the FBI to investigate the two moms, but did reach out to the FBI after receiving indirect threats to the school following a podcast the moms went on. And the school also denies sending a letter to the faculty calling Gross and Gonzalez names. And regarding the lawsuit itself, they say this, quote, their claims have no legal merit. Their talking points are old and stale. Columbus Academy will weather this assault as it did the last one and continue to stand for independence and excellence in the education of young scholars. Both moms, Amy Gonzalez and Andrea Gross, join me now. Would you guys like to respond to that statement the school just put out? Well, um, I think that, thank you, Jesse, for having us, but um, I think it's interesting that they say that they, um, they didn't write a letter. What they actually did was um, the headmaster and the head of the security sat down a 1,000 faculty members on the floor and told them that they had alerted the FBI to Amy and I, and this is after having called the local police department and filed a police report against us. Um, in that, uh, when they were speaking to the teachers, um, the message was very clear to the teachers when they left that they were to be afraid of us and fearful. Um, the headmaster also hired 24-hour personal security for herself during this time. During that entire time, Amy and I were going into campus every single day. I was coaching the girls lacrosse team for um, the sixth and seventh graders. Amy was a lower school parent. I was a 10th grade parent. This was the entire school year. And so um, we know after looking into their financials, um, which um, that those were all a diversion for us to not dig deeper into what the finances were. So um, the only, there's nothing old about this. The new thing about this is the 990s that we hope everyone will look at. Those are public records. Um, we had the opportunity to have an accountant take a look into those um, very carefully. And what we have found is some significant instances of violations of what we believe to be 501c3 tax Oh, fraud. So you're saying that this was a diversion because there's some financial shenanigans at the school that you guys might have been zeroing in on. Are you a domestic terrorist? No, I am not. And we hope to catch the attention of your um, prior guest, Jim Jordan. I know they're doing some important committee work um, about weaponizing federal agencies against parents and citizens who just want to protect their children. Um, we're hoping they will look into this and set this up as an example for um, parents around the country to stand up and speak out. And you cannot weaponize the federal government against parents who are asking questions because they love their kids and they want to know what's happening in schools. And, and we also want to know what's happening to the money. Um, we raise the money as parents. We are in, responsible for making sure that the people there are doing what they say they're doing with the money. Um, my oldest daughter has a learning disability. And um, in the year that we were particularly looking into this, we were asking, why have you doubled your diversity department? But for your lower school students, you have not one single learning specialist. And that's hundreds of students had nobody to help them. So. We, we did exactly what Jim Jordan said. We followed the money. And has the FBI contacted you yet? No. That you know of? Not that we know, know of. of. All right. Well, ladies, good luck with this. I'm so sorry this happened to your children. They do not deserve to be expelled over something like this. And if you do follow the money and it leads you somewhere interesting, please let Jesse Waters prime time know. We will. And you guys are not as scary as the school says you are. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.